The regulation of college sports and student athletes is a dynamic subject with shifting players. One organization's rules came before the court in Oliver v. National Collegiate Athletic Association. The association, commonly known as the NCAA, regulated college athletics among its member schools. A primary goal was to maintain college athletes' amateur status and keep professional athletes out. The association's bylaws prohibited college athletes from hiring agents to market the athlete's ability or reputation. Bylaw 12.3.2.1 allowed an athlete to retain a lawyer, but the lawyer couldn't negotiate with a professional sports team. Bylaw 19.7 stated that if an otherwise ineligible athlete played for a college team pursuant to a court's injunction, and that injunction was later vacated or reversed, the association could nevertheless penalize the school or the athlete for the ineligible play. Andrew Oliver, a pitcher on his Ohio high school baseball team, retained attorneys Robert and Tim Barada and the Icon Sports Group in part to protect his amateur status. The summer after Oliver graduated, representatives of Major League Baseball's Minnesota Twins met with him and his father at their home. Tim Barada, though uninvited, also attended the meeting. The Twins offered Oliver a $390,000 contract. Oliver declined the offer, instead attending Oklahoma State University on a full baseball scholarship. The Baradas and Icon never billed Oliver, who later claimed that they provided him nothing of value. In March of Oliver's sophomore year, he terminated the Baradas and Icon sports. In April, the Baradas sent Oliver an invoice for over $113,000 in legal fees. In May, the Baradas informed the NCAA about the meeting with the Twins. The association and Oklahoma State suspended Oliver from the team indefinitely, claiming that Oliver violated NCAA rules by allowing Tim Barada to be present in his home while the Twins presented their offer. Oliver sued the NCAA, and the court granted a temporary restraining order reinstating Oliver to the team. Oklahoma State wouldn't let Oliver play, but instead applied to the association to reinstate him. The association suspended Oliver for a year and charged him a year of eligibility. The suspension was later reduced. Oliver then moved for a judgment and permanent injunctive relief.